one does not go to heaven on a feather bed. My dear sisters and brothers, many of you may have heard of St. Thomas More, the Chancellor of England who died at the hands of Henry VIII, his king, whom he served with devotion. And while in prison, because he was being persecuted for his faith, he would say, one does not go to heaven on a feather bed. As a saint and as a martyr in the making, he knew that uh, the way to glory is oftentimes filled with a lot of persecution and pain. In fact, just before being beheaded, he would say, I die a loyal subject of the king, but first God's. And he knew that uh, the way to fidelity, the way to committed life is often filled with a lot of challenges. Sometimes I wonder why we Catholics or Christians in general often think that a good life, an upright life, should be devoid of any pain and persecution. Our experiences to the contrary. And even the Lord in the Sermon on the Mount would say, wide is the road to perdition, but narrow the one that leads to life. As we go through this Eucharist, let's pray for the grace of patience, for prayerfulness, for perseverance, that with love we'll take on all the challenges that come our way as we live out our faith. For one does not go to heaven on a feather bed because narrow is the road that leads to life, but wide the one that leads to perdition.